Hello ladies and gentlemen, how you doing today? My name is Billify and today we are here to counter a glove. Which glove is that? Why of course it's the blasphemy glove. And these are going to be the awesome groupers that are going to go out here and help us figure out what counters this blasphemy glove. We've got Carl, Mewtwo, Madness, Jerry, Foxy Boy, and Sho. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate you. Let's get into this. R.I.P. Jerry. All right, so first things first, if you're in a rock, can you stay safe using Diamond, Mega Rock, or Custom? Oh, that's so tough. It's tough. Ah! Oh, it can be done. <laughs> oh, no. It's like you have to have a sixth sense. <laughs> All right, so if it's dark, oh, yeah, okay. That's when you really have to do it, but it's so incredibly hard that I'm probably not gonna recommend it. It just can work. <laughs> so what happens if you use these? That can work. So if you wanted to, you just go to sleep and then hold your keys to make it move. And by the time it hits you, it doesn't give you that much ragdoll. Z counters, oh my God. <laughs> So you can use these, but is this gonna be the glove that I recommend? Probably not. Anything with distance against Blasphemy is gonna be ideal because it is a base slap that you have to dodge. So Extended and all the other gloves that have a long distance grab are perfect. Extended is gonna be way up on my list. What about Swapper? Ooh, you can swap her. Okay, but it comes down to real, real, real close timing. Can Thanos save you? So Thanos can work, but I don't know if I'm really going to recommend this to you. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like there's going to be better for you. <laughs> this is... <laughs> this isn't going to be a counter. This is more or less going to be a very funny combo that you can use. So get to a point where it's dark and then pull them over. And then you can get them hit by a piano. <laughs> so again, this is just a funny meme that you could do. This isn't a counter. Oh, can you go above it with space? So if we activate space and go up in the air... Oh, yeah, space works, but the problem is zero G takes a long time. So if you get slapped again, you're going to have to deal with the consequences of waiting for zero G to activate or get ready. This could work, but again, look how long it has taken for zero G to get ready to be able to be used. Oh, wait, what? Oh, God. <laughs> you already know golden's going to work. <laughs> Are you afraid of the incoming piano? Just go golden mode. Guess what? <laughs> it can't hit you and you can hit out other people. <laughs> The thing you gotta watch out though with Golden is uh, the cooldown. It's a long cooldown just like space. How does Cheeky compare to a piano? So if you are fighting and you get hit with this, if you go into Cheeky form and keep wandering around with this piano, how bad is the hit? Not bad at all. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you can just get right back out of it. So Cheeky is definitely gonna get a good recommendation from us. Replica clones cannot be hit by the pianos or have the pianos attached to them. If I have a piano that's coming down and I spawn with the blip. He can't get hit by that piano. And he can get stuck with the initial part, but it doesn't get any bigger with the steps that they take. I'm not gonna say this is a direct counter, but uh, oh, what was that? It can work in different scenarios. So what possibly happens with the reverse glove? Oh no, the piano is gonna fall. What should we do? Just go into reverse mode. It won't work for you. Oh my gosh, honestly didn't see that coming. Yes, if you use it early and they slap you, they get the Blasphemy Piano. That's the only way you could use Reverse, so it's going to be 50-50. Animations should be huge here. They should be. If you're being chased down by the piano and you go into an animation and just hold down your walking keys, yeah, you can get rid of it easy peasy. Even if you're the one that get grabbed, you can still hold down on your keyboard and still get that piano to fall. So animations are huge. If you time it right, what happens with Duelist? So if you know you're about to have a piano hit your head, you can easily throw down a Duelist and have that happen. <laughs> so that is one way you can use Duelist. It works, but not my go-to. Audio should work out very well here. All you gotta do is just wait for it to get a little bit dark and then use your ability. You're fine. Even if you get hit, you're fine. You could even time it better so that once you start teleporting, you do it. Any way you wanna do it with audio, so it should work out very well. Blocked will be fantastic if there's just a single piano user chasing you. Carl will be using buddies for this. They can't do anything to you. No slapping, nothing. If there's only one piano, blocked is the go-to because you can continue to slap that same person. But if there's multiple blasphemies that are chasing you around, buddies is gonna be your go-to because they can't hit you after that. But you can't hit them. So you see the table and why, if there's one or two, which glove to use. You can throw a rock at them. That'd be funny to see, but nothing crazy. The coil glove is perfect. It's just like the extension glove where you can get a distanced fight to where the blasphemy glove can't even slap you because they have a base slap w for coil what happens with balloony if you're able to get multiple balloons up in the air i'd probably use two just jump up in the air and continue to move and you're fine even if it hits you in the head you're not gonna ragdoll balloony is gonna be a gold tier counter the track table flip ping pong and slicer gloves are all huge deterrents which can be considered counters but i like to consider them deterrents as this is a distanced glove and it will keep them away from you and it will probably deter them from going after 
after you. Home run can be a counter, you just can't get faked out. That's the big thing. It's just like counter. If you can get them close enough and not get baited out, you can definitely get them. Can you save yourself with excavator? All right, so you got this dark looming cloud over you. If you just go under the ground, Oh, hey, look, I'm up above, which is funny to see. But yeah, you could definitely use it. The thing you gotta watch with Excavator, though, is that big cooldown. Also, if you get stuck with this, you can use this as an offensive item. Like, if you go into the earth and then chase somebody with it, you can hit them with a the piano if you time it out, right? <laughs> okay, just watch that cooldown. Thor's animation can definitely save you. All right, so I would get it way close to the end when it's real dark. Then I would use the animation and then use that and you'll be good to go. Watch for Volt. The cooldown's pretty high, so you'd have to kind of manage yourself for a little bit. But by the time that you even if, if you got it back on you again, you're perfectly fine to just go back over here again, use your animation and get away from that piano. So Thor is great, but not a top counter. So can you grapple above a falling piano? So let's go up in the air now. Yeah. Oh, you could drop a piano in the middle of the map. Use your grapple and then... <laughs> yeah, that could be funny. You could throw pianos on random people. Gold. Easy gold. <laughs> can you skedaddle away in a cloud? If you get up in the air, can you get away? <laughs> yes. Yes, you can. Even if you're in the same spot... You're fine. Honestly, didn't expect it, but yeah, you can definitely escape on a cloud. <laughs> Gold counter. Jabated is good. If they slap you while you're in Jabated, they get hit with the hand. But if you also use Jabated and you get hit, you're fine. If you fly off, you get teleported right back up to your debated portal. So you are absolutely fine in that sense. I'd probably give it a 75, 80% counter. Oven is great. If they're chasing you down, trying to hit you with their glove, just put an oven down and stand near your oven. They can't get near you and they get put into the oven. So oven can be really good here. If your friend gives you guardian angel and you fly off the edge because of a piano, it will save you. Can you use ferryman to avoid it? Get it to about here and then jump on top of your ferryman. Jump up in the air and then walk forward. Yeah, absolutely. You can avoid it that way. Ferryman's gonna get a W here, but make sure you use the ability of standing on top of the ferryman or, and I wouldn't use the ferryman dashes. It's too hard to time and I still think you get hit. You could use black hole to save your friend if they do have a piano stuck to them. So if you get him in the black hole and they get hit, they're perfectly safe and you can drag them around wherever you like. So just like black hole, you can use God's hand to save your friend. You can avoid it just like that if you have God's hand, but you could also use this if you have it on top of you just to get rid of it. So God's Hand works for the God's Hand and works for people who have been hit by Blasphemy. And it's also a one-shot. They have the base slap, so if you're gonna trade off, the one-shots are gonna win that trade-off. So the Flex, Air, Overkill, and the God's Hands all can work on a regular slap fight. Ultra Instinct will have that 50% dodge rate in a battle against a Blasphemy user. So if you want that 50% dodge rate, go for it. Titan should be really good here. You got a piano on top of you. Just go into Titan form. You're fine. It'll only chip you up. <laughs> While you're in here, you can't be hit by another piano. They can only rinse down your time. I'm not sure if I'm going to put this as a gold tier counter, but for now, I want to say it's really good. Since they just have the base slap, you could definitely throw a hollow jack at them, but it's not guaranteed you're going to land it, so I'm not going to fully recommend it. You could always surprise them with a bus. That does work. <laughs> Phase is going to be absolutely phenomenal in this situation here. You got yourself a piano on you. What do you do? Go into phase mode. Even if it hits you, you're fine. Common W from phase here. If you time warp out, can you escape? It's going to come down to real good timing here but as soon as you see it disappear uh, warp is another one of those that comes down to extreme timing but when it comes down to extreme timing i feel like there's better gloves that you can use the bomb bubble jet shard and the bob gloves are all going to be deterrents here bomb is great because they can't get close to you if you time this right bubble you can send them away jet if you're alive for long enough can definitely hit them off the map shard can keep them distanced and slowed down and bob will either make them go after you in a certain manner or have to go get bob off of them so great deterrent gloves some can even be considered counters but i like to classify these as a deterrent group how well does jupiter do against so we're close to the edge i want to see how well we can do this we get hit oh yeah you take a lot of reduced knockback this is really really good if you just want something to relax with and even if you get hit you don't have to worry i'm definitely going to recommend jupiter you could also use the jupiter mode in hybrid which is the yellow that is the exact same thing and you don't even have to have the glove out plus you get three other abilities as well with the spring boost the speed boost and the strength boost how effective is slapple so it can work, it just comes down to timing. <laughs> so as soon as it gets really dark, that's when you would want to use it. Even if you mistime it like that, you can still live. So Slapple can work. If you're on top of Larry, what happens with Rattlebones? 
<laughs> it kind of hits you, but you're okay. So as long as you get on top of Larry, you're fine. It's funny to look at. <laughs> Once you drain it out, it's just like bonk. <laughs> Whoa. Fish is going to be a great counter here. Easily a gold tier counter. You got yourself a table falling at you. Oh no, you get hit. Oh, just fling. You're fine. You can combo with voodoo. The only thing you can do is just have your friend slap them with blasphemy and that gives them the piano. Leash can be really good here. The more people that you have leashed, the greater your chances for survival are going to be. Because even if you get hit, you're not going to go that far. The kinetic percussive blast can actually be very useful here. You got a piano that's falling on you. As long as you have your kinetic blast, as soon as you see it, Perfect. <laughs> the cooldown with this is the biggest part that you'd have to watch out for. Sparky can be really good here because you don't have to use the keys that much. All you'd have to do is just have your shift lock active. You don't even have to move. You're perfectly fine. You could go hit somebody else. But if you do eventually end up moving it while you're in Sparky, can you avoid it? No, you can't. Okay. But it doesn't remove the piano, so you're still gonna eventually get hit by it. That's why it's not a top counter. It's just fun to use. Boogie's gonna be a top counter because it's a base slap that they're after, and the boogie takes away the base slap. You want to hit me? You cannot! You cannot! You must dance! You must dance! You cannot hit me! Yeah, that's it. That's it for boogie. Recall should work just like Adios and Thanos. You got a piano on you. Just get it down to a dark mode, then use it. Perfectly fine. Even if you use your ability too early, like right here, you could still hold it and be perfectly fine. Psycho can be good here. If you're up in the air uh so yeah, it can kind of nullify it, which is a little odd. So the only thing that's really going to help you is your telekinesis jump. If you have a piano falling on top of you, just double jump and it reduces the amount of knockback that you're going to take. Other than that, nothing special with Psycho. Kraken is great. Just use it like you would Extended or Coil. It's a long distance fighting thing, so they can't get close to you. If you time out, your Kraken hits perfectly. Counter works perfectly if you can bait them out because it's just a base slap that they're trying to hit you with. So if you don't get baited, Counter is great for you. Rob can absolutely save you. Piano's coming to get you. Just go into your Rob animation and you're... Whoa. Oh, you could be hit. Oh, odd. How, how very odd. Yeah, it's better if you're in the animation, like if you're already in Rob form. The early part of it, I think, can get hit, which is a little odd. Okay, so the other one was a fluke. Rob's great. I just don't, I don't know what happened the first time. Rojo's long animation is absolutely perfect to avoid being hit by a piano. Legitimately, right at the beginning of this, I wouldn't even move. I can go into Rojo and hold this and still be avoiding the piano when it eventually hits. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> just watch out your hollow purple takes so long to get back so you're gonna have to kind of finagle things until you actually get this ability back if you have the guns with hitman you can never be hit by them retro is another fantastic one all three abilities will be useful here so you could always shoot a rocket launcher from long distance if they're going that way if they're getting close to you you could always just use the bomb to escape you can use the band hammer to hit them and they can't even get close to you now does the bomb save you here's where i'm gonna do it I would just try to actively not get near them. Null can work against them since they don't have any extra ability to remove the minions, so they're either going to have to run away or face the minions and die. <laughs> For most things, Alchemist is going to be a gold tiered counter. As long as you have the Invincible Potion active, you're perfectly fine. For it, you just need to put in two Mushrooms and an Elderwood, and you get yourself the Invincible Potion. So you can't be slapped once you have it active, but even if you do get slapped, you can still go and activate this potion, and when it hits you... You're perfectly fine. <laughs> Druid is great against the Blasphemy Glove. They will never be able to hit you if you use Druid. If they are chasing you down, just throw the Wild Vines at them. They'll get caught up in that, and they won't be able to get free for a, a hot minute. By the time they're out, you're about halfway done. So you can go back to slapping them. You can run away from them. You can avoid them, whatever it might take. But you will always get your ability before that they can... Or you will always get your ability before they can do anything. Just don't cast it on a bridge like that, because I don't know what happened there. Scythe is going to be a gold tier counter. They can't even get close to you. <laughs> if they're coming near you, just throw the Scythe. You got them caught. Up. And when it returns, you can hang them off the edge, whatever you need to do. You have the high advantage using a scythe against them. Can you use the ability to go into the gift sack to avoid being hit by a piano while using Santa? Alright, so if we double jump and go into the bag. Oh yeah, 100%. So yeah, Santa's definitely gonna work against a Blasphemy user. I don't think you can outrun with Ice Skate, but let's test. Actually, thinking about this, this might work exactly like Sparky. Yeah, if you just hold down your ability button, so as long as you don't move left or right or left or right, you're perfectly fine. Ice Skate's gonna definitely be a good option for you right here. Can you jump over this? No, okay. So yeah, Ice Skate's exactly like Sparky. Use it in that same fashion. You could have a piano war with Blasphemy. <laughs> that can't work. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it for our counters. Thank you to everybody that you see on your screen, all the goobers that you see with the big old goober mark here. <laughs> we got Foxy, Carl, Show, Madness, Mewtwo, Andrew, and Fast Roll the way over there hiding. But what counter surprised you the most? Surprise-wise for me, I thought Reverse was gonna work, but it didn't. <laughs> What was your favorite counter? Honestly, I would say my favorite counter is probably Z's. Every time Z 
Aziz works out, it makes me laugh every single time. Let me know what yours are in the comment section below. But <laughs> other than that, thank you so much for watching this. I hope that every single one of you have an amazing rest of your day or night whenever you do end up watching it. And we'll see you in the next counter. Later! <laughs>